Kohl's versus Audi. Which one is cheaper? Let's find out. Hey everyone, it's Kelly. How are you? Thank you so much for joining us today. If you're new here, I'm Kelly. I'm a bit of a bargain queen hunter. I love markdown and clearance stickers, doing shopping hauls and doing other things that I can share with you to help you save money. So if it sounds like something that you'd be interested in, I'd love it if you liked this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel so you can stay informed every time we upload a video and you can join the frugal saving shopping adventures with us. So without further ado, let's get into today's video. Hey guys, it's Kelly, how are you? We're gonna head into Audi with my last Coles click and collect order and see if it actually is cheaper. Let's check it out. So I took my Coles click and collect order into Audi to see, as I said, what I could get and how much it was going to cost me. Because I was shopping at the same time, I kind of was all over the place and I figured I'd just sort it all out when I got home. And I was figuring that I didn't actually need to rebuy those items that I'd literally just bought. So I was, again, writing the prices down. And when I've gotten home to compile it all, uh, found a few things quite interesting that I'm going to share with you now. So the first thing I want to say is that from the 61 items that I got on my Coles click and collect order, I was only able to get 24. And I was really fair and honest because when I look at this, I was going through like Coles cream cheese, Coles barbecue sauce, Coles cheddar cheese. So everything was a direct Coles versus Audi. That's what I was basing the prices on. The first thing that I wanna start with is the Audi that I went to is actually a small store compared to what I have seen out and about. So I might have been limited by the stock that was there. I might have gone on an off stock day. I don't know. I am going to, however, go to a bigger store down the track and do a bit more price comparison as a bit of a follow-up and research because I'm curious to know if some of the things that I found, whether it was just a stock item, and we'll go through that in a second. So I'm going to put up some pictures of the products that we did get with their prices and go through the totals at the end and then in other videos we'll talk about some other facts and figures around the shopping trip. So I've got my notes, so excuse me for looking down. <laughs> so the first thing we got was apricot cheese, 200 grams, it's Coles brand for $3. And at Audi, it was $2.89. Uh, barbecue sauce, two liters, Coles was $4. And at Audi, it's $3.89. Block of cheese at Coles, one kilo, $8. At Audi, $7.79. 400 grams of ham, Coles is $5.50, and at Audi it's $4.99. Broccoli, 500 grams was $2.35, and at Audi it's $2.29. Chicken nuggets, 400 grams, at Coles it's $3.60, and at Audi it's $2.29. Potato gems, one kilo, Coles, $2.90, Audi, $2.69. Crushed tomato, 400 grams, Coles, $1.20, Audi, 99 cents. Lamington fingers, 18 packet, $2.50, Coles, and $2.39, Audi. Soft drink, I think it was 1.25 litres, was a dollar at Coles, and at Audi, it's 95 cents. I think I've just made a little bit of a writing error there. Rice, two kilos, just white rice. At Coles is $1.40 and at Audi, it's 
Mango slices at Coles is $4 and at Audi was $3.99. The regular spread, kilo, at Coles is $1.60 and at Audi it's $1.89. Butter, 500 grams at Coles is $5 and at Audi it's $4.99. Laundry liquid, one litre at Coles it's $1.50 and at Audi it's $1.99. A loaf of multigrain bread at Coles is $1.60 and at Audi it's $2.09. Sour cream, 200 grams at Coles, $2.10 and at Audi it's $2.09. Strawberry licorice at Coles is $1.65 and at Audi it's $1.89. Sliced cheese, uh, it's a 500 gram packet, two packs of $2.50. At Coles, it's $6.50, and at Audi, it's $5.99. Sugar, two kilos, at Coles is $1.80, and at Audi, it's $1.79. Vinegar, two litres, at Coles is $1.20, and at Audi, it's $1.19. Packet of crisps, I think it was about 175 or 200 grams. I forgot to check the weight. So at Coles, for that week it was $1.75 and at Audi it was $1.99. And milk, two litres at Coles is $2.39 and at Audi $2.39. So that's the same. So totals. At Coles I spent a total of $71.89. And at Audi I spent $71.52. So a saving of 37 cents. Um, there were just some things I could not find in that store. As I said, it could have been a stock issue. There was other things. So for now, I've written it all down and I'm, as I said, gonna do another video and go to another store. Just some of the things I noticed that when I was going through, um, most things are sort of like one cent cheaper. There are some other things that they're a good 50 cents cheaper, like the ham, and you've got like five to six cents cheaper, like broccoli. Something else that stood out to me was the chicken nuggets. For 400 grams at Coles, as I said, it's 360 and at Audi it's 229. Now, <laughs> bone of contention in our house. Once upon a time, Coles used to have the 400 gram packet of chicken nuggets, and it was about $2.80 or something like that. And the box magically disappeared and we've ended up with this $3.60 box. However, I've noticed on the box it actually says RSPCA approved chicken. That's pretty good. I didn't read the Audi packet to be completely honest with you, but it just didn't look like something my son would eat. I asked in my autism mums group, some mums were like, my kids love them and other mums were like, no, we went there because they were cheaper and nope. <laughs> so I'm not willing to risk our safe food in our house to go cheaper and have my son not like it and then be turned off chicken nuggets completely. So I'm more than willing to pay $3.60 for Coles chicken nuggets and know that we're safe. <laughs> Rice was another thing that completely shocked me. As I said, the bag at Coles was $1.40 and at Audi it was $2.75. Again, I don't know whether it was a stock issue, they were low on the day or what happened. I know that Woolworths is exactly the same price as Coles. They actually used to be cheaper. Uh, so we used to go there just for rice. Uh, but yeah, so that was one thing that helped bring the price difference down a little bit more. Everything else, as I said, was kind of like a cent cheaper here and there. Uh, the cheese surprised me with the best savings with the block of cheese and the sliced cheese. So when we run out, I am more than willing to get some sliced cheese to uh, taste test that and then add that in our next video because we've already tried some products and I would love to try some more and give you our feedback on it. One thing I did write down in my notes to talk to you guys about was flour. So again, I'm at a smaller Audi, so I'm trying to be fair and just, but here's what I found. At Coles, one kilo bag is a dollar. At Audi, it was also one dollar. They only had one kilo bags 
through the whole section that was there. I looked everywhere. One kilo bags, I was eat. And at Coles, I can get a two kilo bag for a dollar eighty. So straight away, there's kind of a price and stock difference there. So you can't exactly compare the pair and be fair, but it was just one of those things that I kind of looked at. They also don't stock some things, like I was looking for Rizzoni pasta. They didn't have any. They had like a spiral pasta and spaghetti and some uh, fettuccine and some other things, but they didn't have Rizzoni pasta. So I would have to go to Coles for that. They didn't have, for when I was there, for what I saw, uh, cinnamon sugar, and they didn't have some of the meal base packets either, which we get from time to time. They weren't there. Again, could be a stock issue. A lot of the shelves looked absolutely full, however, so I don't know. So, sad to say, I think that Audi have won this round based purely on prices, but there are many, many other factors to consider taste challenge and all the other pros and cons as well. So I'm going to leave this video here. Thank you so much for watching. Leave me a comment below if you're an Audi shopper or if Coles or even Woolworths, where you shop and what you find is cheaper and any other information that you have, I'd love to be able to connect with you in the comment section. Thanks for watching. Bye for now. One other thing that I was 